Hi, and I'm back with another video for The Stammering Life. Today, I'd really like to reflect on why we feel uncomfortable when we stammer. What makes us feel as if we can't stammer openly? What makes other people feel awkward? For me, I really think that this comes from perceptions about, about stammering in the media. That's one of the biggest things for me. The other day I was at work and I was um, walking down the corridor. I work in a school um, and I'm at different schools each day and I was having a conversation with a, another teacher and my sister Dama really came up there and it was really quite difficult for me to appear relaxed in the conversation um, and because of that the teacher was also quite awkward about it and they quickly ended the conversation and went back to their classroom. And I think for me I found that particularly difficult because I felt that I was to blame for the awkwardness in some way and I, I think that that is a guilt that so many stammerers feel and I think it's that feeling of, of just not being able to say what you intended in that way you know if it's telling telling a joke or if it's telling a story it can't be like you can't talk in a light carefree tone it, everything suddenly feels like a lot of, of work, it feels quite intense and because of that it's like your identity is just constantly shifting. That's what I find the most difficult part of stammering, for me that's what makes me most uncomfortable, the fact that my identity is constantly shifting, you know, the fact that sometimes um, my stammer is more than at other times it, it also changes as well. Um, but then I was really reflecting on why I feel uncomfortable and why other people might also appear uncomfortable and how that blame should not be on us. And I think it really comes down to the perceptions of stammering in the... in the... In the media. We need to see more stammering out there and this leads me to stammers current no diversity without disfluency campaign and it's such a brilliant campaign at the 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 moment they've got an advert out which which is being played in cinemas across the country and it just aims to really bring uh, awareness to what stammering is and how it should be spoken about and how seeing cameras on our, on our screens is so important. And it made me realise that if I had seen more people stammering on TV, in film, even in the books I read if I'd read about stammerers, it would have seemed so much more normal to me and also to the people that I'm uh, around, so to... to non-stammerers as well and it's really difficult that I kind of have the responsibility of telling like my colleagues and everyone about stammering because some days I just don't feel up to it or some conversations are so short that there's just no point even starting to tell the other person about your stammer and yet the awkwardness can be very difficult so it's just such a, it's a really difficult thing, but I think the most important thing is being able to see people who speak like us all uh, around us, and that way it will become a normalised thing. So the so a few weeks ago I was teaching pupils for a week, and during this time they were writing a quest story, and all of their stories had an evil character in. And what really struck me quite soon after I began to mark their stories was that a number of pupils included 
um, a stammer is one of the de defining features of their evil character. And it really made me reflect, you know, on how s stammering has been seen, has been shown, you know, particularly in children's stories, in on TV for so long that I feel that that perception of 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 having a stammer and of a stammer making you somehow weak or a stammer being a sign that you're not trustworthy. I feel like this has been a stereotype for so long now that it's become really ingrained in people's um, psyche and their in how they they see it, you know. And even though, you know, we have made progress, I just don't feel like we've made nearly enough progress. Having a stammer is still shown to be something that needs to be overcome. It's still shown to be something that um, is either spoken about as, as a sad thing or spoken about, you know, every year on National Stammering uh, Awareness Week or it's not shown at all. And I think that invisibility can be just as just as bad as showing it you know um in a in a negative way i think we really need to show that stammerers are out there that they very much exist and they lead great lives and you can stammer openly and be strong and be brave and be all of these things of which of course w we know but many children don't and that that for me that scared me how it came from children who are great kids, you know, they were a, a lovely class. Um, I'd, I'd even told them about my stammer at the beginning of the week. And yet still this perception that stammering is something which evil people do, which which shows that you're untrustworthy or shows that you're lying or shows that you're weak. That's still really ingrained within them and something needs to be done to kind of get that perception changed um yeah and I think as time goes on I think things really will begin to change I think Stammer's current campaign is uh is you know really incredible and it will really get the word out there I would just love to see more st more, more more Stammerers on our screens like wouldn't it be incredible to see a Marvel superhero who had a stam a stammer but that wasn't their like defining feature i think that 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 would be fantastic and only when sta when stammering when this this different way of talking becomes accepted will we feel really comfortable stammering openly with anyone so that is my thought for today hope that you in enjoyed it and please comment below to let me know what you thought.